is loyal and professional, good-humored, respected and loved by both the audience and the riders. He is the king of breakaways. One day the local cycle club came to the school and then they presented a shiny new bike and asked us if we want to come and then of course you go, yeah, of course I'm going to go with you. It's always better to laugh. The job is hard enough, so we don't have to make it even harder. It's instead of you go, oh, I hate this day, I hate the morning, I hate the weather. You bring yourself down, you bring the others down with you. That's just not the way it should be. Hey, I'm in the first line, I'm in the first line. I'm gonna get going. <laughs> I know that, Jens. I feel like a child, I was like that, like too much energy often get myself in trouble with that. That's actually how I started the cycling course. My parents went, look, he, he has to do something to, you know, get rid of all the energy, to burn some energy. Otherwise, he's just getting in trouble all the time. I'm in a break, I'm like, oh, why me? Why me again? It's like, how is it possible? The guys, can I witness that? It was the first thing I covered for the whole day. I just tried to, no, I don't go break. No, no, I don't go, I don't go. At the first break, he basically had clacked in front of my wheel. And he just followed them and... You got your brakes perhaps or something like that. You did something to do with it. And then I was in a break again. So I thought, no, not me again. You got all the blood in your legs and nothing in the brain anymore because the body's just, you know, all the blood just pumping, pumping, pumping. And you cannot even count two and two together. No, no. In some moments, you know. Sometimes you can see it like a video clip in your in your mind, you see, okay, there we come to this village, there's a little turn to the left, there's a little uphill bit, and on the top, you can see, you go out of the city and it's a lot of wind, and you know, it's gonna go there, it's gonna go there, 100%. Then you bring yourself into the right position, and it happens. It's always this, this game, if you take a big group with you, they start chasing earlier. If you take us less riders, they know that they're gonna be so tired in the end, they're gonna start later, so they give you more advantage, you know? And sometimes it's you go out so early to basically to scare the sprinter teams to go, oh, we have to start working now already. Ah, oh, we try tomorrow. Leave it, leave them out there. For the man they have seen minst i hovedfeltet under det års Tour de France, Jens Vogt. Vogt's constant energy can on occasion be tiring, even for his fellow teammates. Med Jens. Hvad er det, hvad er det hovedløst? Det er Jens, der er det. Jamen, vi er jo med igen. Måske lidt for meget med, jo, da han kører. Og, ja, det er jo som det er med ham, og det kan vi ligesom ikke have ham på. Med Jens. Hæ? Jens er meget. Man får ikke kæft sig over. Man kan med. Se va forte, forte, forte domani, va bene, va bene. Però bisogna andare forte. Non sono, io non sono d'accordo con questa roba lì, purtroppo. Jens Vogt har altså hentet 12 sekunder på etappen indtil videre, og er faktisk gået forbi blandt andre Lance Armstrong i det samlede klassement, som det er lige nu. Jeg skulle have stoppet dem, men altså... <laughs> det er sindssygt, han knægter. Det er fuldstændig. Ej, ja. Kan man kalde det dampbarn, du? Ja, det kan man. Han kører lidt på rigtig vej. Ja, Og så Ulrik. Angreb fra Jan Ulrik. Ulrik angriber Armstrong. Så sker der noget. Så har han noget at skyde med i dag, Jan Ulrik. Today, Jan Ulrik attacks Lance Armstrong. He is desperate. Will he gain the necessary time to succeed? Way up front is Jens Vogt, in yet another forceful breakaway. In the back, it seems like Ulrich's attempt is successful. Lance Armstrong and even Basso are losing time. And suddenly, this happens. Why is Jens stopping? What is his strategy? Is he waiting for even Basso to help him defend second place?
Jan Ulrich passes with great speed, but Jens waits. Lance and Basso are now being pulled by Floyd Landis, but with a decreasing tempo. As Jens is pulling constantly, everyone starts to wonder if there is an alliance with U.S. Postal. The German press is outraged by Volk's eagerness to pull in his fellow German rider. But maybe Jens is just doing his job for Ivan. As Jan Ulrich is pulled in, Ivan tells Jens that he would like to go for a stage win. Vogt pulls for his captain again. Stigning har sat ind. Og de holder højt tempo endnu. Two kilometers from the finish line, the job is done. And Jens Vogt leads it to Lance. Ulrich, Cluden, and Basso to fight it out. But the incredible physical effort by Jens Vogt might not be perceived as the heroic act it was meant to be. No problem, Ivan. You did a great job. That's all we want. <laughs> so what happened? We were in the break. I heard I was in the break. And then Fiala went, um, I'm sorry, Ian. So now you got to stop and come back and choose Ulrich. <laughs> I thought I waited at the end. I drink. I look back. And I waited. I drink. I look back. And I said, no, we're out here. We're out here. <laughs> and then I saw it come flying past in a big thing. And I'm like, no, we're never going to get him back. I knew he was going to do that. I said he was desperate. And he would do that. It's too early to let Ulrich go. People. I know the parkour very well, and when Ulrich goes, it's too far to the finish. Yeah, yeah but hey, he was strong. There he was, was not, strong. There was not much left there. No, 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 no. It's not easy behind the wheel. Yeah, I know. It's not easy. It's not easy. You work for Lance. What interests should I have working for Lance? And they have the money to get rid of the German TV. Du hast gesagt, ja, der Vogt fährt da mit und TSC, die fahren mit Armstrong zusammen und die fahren gegen Ulrich. Man kann sich dann wirklich bedanken bei TSC und bei Jan und bei Jens. Ich habe auch im Fernsehen gesagt. Wer hat das gesagt? Der AD. Hagen Bostov. Armstrong, he has, he had two guys with him and just 20 seconds, 30 seconds behind, he had two more guys. Okay, you can drop him with a half a minute. He just wait on his guys, and then I'm gonna roll right like hell. And our guys has, and even has to ride in the front. No way. But today was not a day to make a difference. To understand everything, you know, when Ulrich attack and Basel go, Armstrong will go too. Yes. Then they are three. Then it's gonna be nothing. So it was nothing today. Nothing. But you have to understand my tactic, okay? And I see the race in one way, and I don't agree what you say, okay? Or what you want me to say? Ich habe auch im Fernsehen gesagt, also es war schon ein bisschen schwer für mich da, aber meine Loyalität gehört meinem Team und meinem Captain, und da kann ich nichts anderes machen. Weißt du, wenn die sagen, Jens, wir müssen da vorne fahren, und weißt du, wir können ja nicht. Was glauben die, dass ein ein Tombola? Ja. Die können ja nicht. Man arbeitet tagelang für für die für die für seine Platzierung. Und dann schenken, verschenken wir das einfach? Das geht ja nicht. Weißt du, jede Minute, die, die Ulrich rausholt, ist schlecht für Ivan im Zeitfahren. Vogliono tutti che abbiamo corso per per Armstrong. No, te dice solo. Io non ho detto niente. No, te di no, io non lo so. Però te bisogna basta dire che te sta sta di forte e vogliono vincere e basta. Sì, sì, sì. Poi c'era Ulrich davanti, c'era Adepolin. Sì, 